Well, hello there. Welcome to the midweek reminder encouragement. It's good to see you. I've been trying to do some practical discipleship talks here. Hopefully you've been enjoyed them and all the Lord is teaching us. And last week uh, we talked about, yeah, sharing our faith or doing the work of an evangelist through our actions or through our words. And, um, oh my, someone's at the door. I'm trying to do a video. Don't this crazy house. Yeah, how can I help you? Can I have a cookie? A cookie? <laughs> are you serious? Why did you ask your mother? Why are you asking me? Anyways, later. Come on, I'm doing a video. Okay, let's, uh, anyways, I'll just keep going. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you this week about another wonderful discipleship uh, activity, a discipline we all need to grow in. We're going to look at the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7. Didn't I tell you in just a minute? What's the problem now? Can you make me a cookie? Definitely not, but I asked you to wait and I could get you a cookie if you stop knocking on the door. Anyways, <laughs> back to our section here. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Here we go, and this is what it says. Ask, and it will be given to you. Let me guess, he's going to ask again. Yes, what is it? Can I have a cookie? I have some of the most persistent children. Anyways, <laughs> you know what we're trying to do here. We're having fun and we're giving you a little illustration about the section, but let me read it to you. How fun was that? Ask, it will be given to you and you will find knock and it will be open to you. Uh, seek, all these things. And then verse 8, For everyone who asks receives, to him who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be open. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? I'm not sure where cookie is, but anyways. Or if he asks for a, f uh, for a fish, he will give him a serpent. If then you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him. I want to emphasize a few things in this discipline of asking God. Sometimes we don't ask continually because we don't see and we don't think God is good. But I want to remind you today that God is good. He is a wonderful father. And even though you might not be uh, receiving what you ask for, I want you to continue to persist. Jesus would say in the Gospel of Luke as well, through the persistent widow, to encourage us today, don't lose heart. Keep asking, keep bothering as the illustration with the kids at the door. Even if you feel God's busy, keep knocking and asking. We know it says in his word that in 1 John 5 that we're confident of this if we ask according to his will that he will hear us and that he will answer. And today, would you be encouraged, maybe not seeing the answer, to continue to persist? We know that God knows everything. It says in his word that he knows our needs even before we answer. But that's not an excuse not to ask, because he wants us to learn obedience. He wants us to continue to ask. He wants us in that relationship, knowing he's a good father and waiting to respond. Unfortunately, maybe like me, you in your life, you get frustrated and tired and you pray for a day, you pray for two, a week or a month, and then we give up. But God would have us not to give up. And he promises us to hear us if we pray according to his will. So today, would you be encouraged in the discipline of persistent prayer, continually asking God, and may we have the faith to keep going, believing. And I don't know what it is for you. It might be a loved one who doesn't know the Lord. It could be something that you need in your life. It could be a promise that God's given you in his word. Would you continually pray would you continually ask and trust that God hears you? And most importantly, just obey what he is asking. And may we go in our rooms, <laughs> close the door, don't worry about the knocks, but you continually knock on God's door, asking, because that's what he has asked us to do. So Lord Jesus, today, would you give us persistence in prayer? Would you allow us the power, the zeal, uh, the ability 
the discipline to continually asking you. I'm sure there are many things on our mind, even now in this time, where we feel like we've been asking and we haven't heard, but may we have the confidence to continue. May we have the faith to continually ask and not give up. We, we know that you know the answer. We know that you are a good God. So Jesus, help us to continually be asking in your name. We pray this according to what you have asked us to do in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. We'll see you later.